This is one incredible man. He just buried an extra large water pipe at the bottom of a trench and covered it with a full truckload of cement, making a solid platform connecting both sides of the waterway. Only by the end did I realize the true meaning of hidden talents among ordinary people. This platform is just the foundation of his entire project. The main materials are the custom cement bricks made using a special mold. Each brick has a slight curve to it, a feature that's key to the project. Once the bricks are set and hardened, he moves them to the trench and marks a curved line on the platform, digging a long groove along each riverbank to help with the next steps. Now that everything's ready, the real work begins. Using the curved line as a guide, he lays the cement bricks along the grooves, creating a base structure. The grooves help hold the bottom of the bricks tightly in place, while he layers them in an offset pattern, building up row by row. Thanks to the curved design, he quickly constructs a wall that spans the waterway and stands nearly level with the trench, forming a strong, arched barrier. Even though the wall is already thick and sturdy, he adds another layer of cement to make it even stronger and more durable, while also smoothing and enhancing its appearance. After coating and smoothing the wall, he places a row of rebar on top as a support. This rebar holds up a formboard on each side, into which he places a cross-weave of wire mesh. With this, he can mold a wider bridge deck above the wall. With skilled hands, he finishes the cement work and removes the boards, revealing the completed structure over the trench. But this is only step one. To complete the project, he needs one more important piece. Using a mud base, he layers it with fiberglass and coats it with resin, waiting for it to harden into a shell-like shape. He then crafts a wheel-like piece from PVC to go along with it. Once everything's assembled, he attaches a generator to the structure, preparing it for installation in the trench. He starts by digging a groove along the riverbank to fit the water pipe structure, securing it in place. The pipe runs through the wall, ending at a cement slab that will act as a platform, where he constructs a gate. Now it should be clear what he's building, a small hydroelectric dam. His goal is to generate electricity to solve a power shortage. He adds a metal gate, equipped with a motor for raising and lowering, and seals one end of the pipe beneath the platform. With everything set, he begins to store water for power generation. When he opens the gate, a powerful rush of water flows from the top pipe into a whirlpool box, spinning the water wheel. The wheel's rotation drives the generator, lighting up the entire setup. You can't help but admire his incredible craftsmanship and creativity. So, how would you rate this handmade mini hydroelectric dam?